This video is brought to you by Choke Cola Game 7 Special Blend, the official soft drink of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Choke Cola, careful how you swallow. It's Game 7. And by NHL Pricks Sports Betting. 19 years and over only. Yeah, right. Please gamble responsibly. We will. NHL Prick Sports Betting. Give us your money. With one of the worst seasons in the Montreal Canadiens history, finally over and done, it's time to give the players, head coaches, and general managers their report cards. Professor Rick here has marked everyone's grade, and in this video, I'll reveal those marks to you. Who passed and who failed this season? Who made the grade and who did not? And don't forget to let me know what you think in the comment section below, as always. And hey, everybody, I'm Rick. Welcome to Talking Habs, where you get your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. All right, so... The season's finally over, and it's time to um, give these players a grade. The way the Montreal Canadiens' season ended up or how it went, you know, um, it was kind of horrible. Um, you kind of think maybe everybody failed, but it's not the case. I'm going to go through, uh, starting with the uh, GMs, the, do the coaches. The guys that were traded, there were four guys um, of, of any um, value. I, I don't know if that's not the right word. They were traded. And uh, the F's through the A's in that order. And, um, yeah, we're going to do that right now. Let's get into the GMs. GMs, start the season was Mark Bergevin. As you see, there's an F there. Um, I, I think he failed. Uh, his offseason acquisitions totally did not pan out. I, I won't say totally. Um, one guy did. Um, but other than that, you know, um, I think it was a failure. He kept his cards too close to his chest, told us nothing. And we found out, um, like all his failures in running this organization kind of caught up to him, I think. And he gets an F. He got fired. And they brought in Kent Hughes. Kent Hughes, while he hasn't done, you know, like a, a ton of deals, the deals that he has made, I really liked. I like the way he's very open and how he talks. Um, they're very transparent. I, I I think he's a really intelligent guy. He knows hockey. knows how to negotiate. I really think um, he did a great job so far. He gets an A from me. Next, the coaches, the two head coaches. That's all I'm only doing the head coaches. Dom Ducharme, 45 games was 8, 30, and 7 for 23 points. And it was a disaster to watch. It was a disaster in their results. Um, it was just a... He gets an F. I mean, if there's a lower mark than that, I give it. But there's no lower than that. He gets an F. In comes Marty St. Louis, 37 games. He was 14, 19, and 4 for 32 points, which is like the opposite of the 23. Spin them around. He did a great job. Not every game did he win. Of course not. But did he change the way they looked, the way they played, the way the, the experience for the viewer, for the fans watching? He changed everything. Um, is he perfect? No, of course not. Uh, will he get better? He will. I believe he'll get a lot better. And I think he did a great job in his 37 games to start uh, his career as a coach. A-plus for me. Next up is the traded guys. The traded guys. Um, oh, yeah, right here. So we're leading off with Arturi Lekkonen. 58 games here, 13 goals, 16 assists, 29 points, one power play point, two shorthanded points. They don't, those numbers don't knock your socks off that you say, I gave him an A. But he played well. He was starting to score. Um, he was starting to be able to finish, no pun intended, because he's from Finland. Um, and he just played really well. Uh, I think this team misses him already. And I think he's, um, um, I think uh, the Colorado Avalanche fans and the team will love him. And I think he gets an A. I think his play was good pretty much all 58 games. Tyler Toffoli, 37 games here. Nine goals, 17 assists, 26 points, eight power play points, one shorthanded point. He's a bit streaky, but Tyler Toffoli, you can see by the numbers, I think he deserves an A. I think the leadership that he gave in the locker room from what we hear from the players 
um, and just the performance on the ice. Most nights, not every night. I think, um, yeah, I think Tyler Toffoli gets an A. Ben Sherratt, 54 games, 7 goals, 11 assists. Um, my window's open. You might hear a truck going by. You might not. I can't tell right now, but it's noisy around here. Construction everywhere. Uh, ben Sherratt, 54 games, 7 goals, 11 assists. So 7-11, lucky numbers, 18 points, 2 power play points, 1 shorthanded point. He logged a ton of minutes. Sure, he made some bad plays and he made some stupid, took some stupid penalties and all that, but he t- he logged a ton of minutes. Um, he he kind of was their number one defenseman with the way Jeff Petrie was playing. I think he he stepped up and he gets an A minus for me. Brett Kulak, fifty six games, three goals, ten assists, thirteen points, one short handed point. Doesn't knock your socks off. Brett Kulak is underrated. I think. I think people just look at him and they they don't see him to be as good as I think he is. I think he did well over there in uh, Edmonton after the trade. I always like Brett Kulak. I think he's pretty steady of a defenseman. Not the best guy on the ice, but definitely not the worst. And I thought his play here was good. A minus for me. Now we get to the F's. The F's. There's only two guys on there. Might surprise you that I've only got two guys on the F's, but these guys absolutely failed. Matthew Perot, I don't dislike Matthew Perot. I really don't, but he had a very injury-filled season. He had one game where he had three goals that accounted for three of his four, and um, he had a power play point, I think, in that game, too. I think he had three goals and one assist in that game. Um, So four goals, five assists, nine points in 25 games. His play wasn't great. I mean, he missed so much time. He wasn't horrible when he was out there like the guy below him, but, I mean, I think it was a fail. I don't think, you know, I hope I, I think they let him walk. He's in the UFA at the end of this. Uh, he's a UFA soon. <laughs> Cedric Paquette, 24 games, zero goals, two assists, two points, and uh, anywhere from abysmal play to horrible play. Like, I don't think he – did he have a good game in the 24? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe one, maybe two. Uh, a total fail here. Um, and I've said before, I think they were just signed because they're French players. And Bergevin didn't know what to do. Thought that would please everybody or the, you know, the French side. And I think that's like it was a it was a failure. All right. The D's. The D's. I think I'm being a little harsh on Brendan Gallagher here. I have to say a game of D plus. It's kind of like the C minus. I mean, Gallagher still played with all his heart. It just it wasn't effective. He played in 56 games, seven goals, 17 assists, 24 points. Uh, not great. Not Brendan Gallagher numbers. Seven power play points. I don't know. There was something missing from Brendan Gallagher. He'd say it himself, and you know, I think he would probably agree with my assessment. But I think I might be a little harsh. Let me know in the comments. I gave him a D plus. Jonathan Drouin, 34 games. Six goals, 14 assists, 20 points. Not bad for 34 games. Four power play points. By the numbers, not bad. Why I gave him a D plus? Like, not because he got injured. I mean, an injury is an injury. It's just that something happens to him around mid-season or a little later. Every season lately. And I don't know. He just leaves you wanting more. I'm giving him a D plus. That's it. That's, That's all. David Savard, a D plus. I could have given him an, an F. He played well under Marty St. Louis. He had 17 points, three goals, 14 assists in 62 games. I think the play in his last, because he was injured when Marty was hired. Um, so I don't know how many games he got under Marty. 20 games? Something like that. His play was good in those games. Better than, definitely better than his crap that he played before under Ducharme. It says I'm not giving him a fail. Other than that, it's a D plus for me. Joel Armia. Joel Armia. That's how it's pronounced. D plus. 60 games, six goals, eight assists, 14 points, one shorthanded goal, one three power play points. There wasn't a game this season where he had that, as they call him, Mario Lemieux game. He didn't have one of those. He was very disappointing, frustrating. Uh, all season, and um, he could get an F, but I'm being nice. I gave him a D plus because he just had a baby. Um, that's why he had left, by the way, at the end of the season. 
Um, so I'm giving him a D plus. Next up are the uh, C's. Uh, that's where it goes. You know, that's how the alphabet goes backward. C's. Jake Evans. 72 games, 13 goals, 16 assists, 29 points. I gave him a C plus. I might be a little harsh on him there. He might be deserving of being in the Bs. I just thought, I don't know. I wanted to see a little more from Jake Evans, to be very honest with you. I wanted to see him perform a little better at third line center and, and just solidify that spot and hold on to it and, and really see that and give him a C plus. I like Jake Evans, so don't come down on me for that. Mike Hoffman, I gave him a C. 67 games, 15 goals, 20 assists, 35 points. Not horrible. 13 power play points. So overall, not horrible. Why I gave him a C? Because he should be maybe in the B. Um, a lot of really bad mistakes. Brain farts all over the ice some nights. And I don't know. I just I wanted to see more of him, more out of him on the power play, which we didn't really see. I thought he could be a little better offensively. I gave him a C. Jeff Petrie, 68 games, 6 goals, 21 assists, 27 points, 3 power play points. You know, those aren't horrible numbers for a defenseman. But it's Jeff Petrie. So I gave him a C. It could have been worse. And I think a lot of people thought I maybe think I should give him worse. But he came on after Marty St. Louis was hired. And he played really well the last 30 games. And he got those points mostly then. And uh, I think his play at the end of the season definitely brought him up. Maybe could bring him up to a B. But I gave him a C. He was horrible for so much of the season. Paul Byron was out most of the season, came back around Christmas time, 27 games, four goals, three assists, seven um, uh, seven points, two game-winning goals. Yeah, he didn't wow me very often. Uh, I was expecting a little more, a little frustrated with Byron's play. I know it was probably a tough season for him. Um, I know the players love him, and he's a leader and all that. I gave him a C. Joel Edmondson, 24 games, three goals, three assists, six points. Kind of the same thing. I know he had a tough start to the season. Injuries, his father passing away was tough. I get that. But I was expecting to see better defense out of him when he got here. I know I may be judging him a little harshly with that C, but on the season that Mavs had, maybe not. Um, I give him a C. Kale Clegg came in on a waiver. Um, 25 games, two goals, three assists, five points. He played okay. He played okay. I don't think he played any better than okay, like average, and that's a C. Alex Belzeal. By the way, this is for everybody who played 10 games or more. Nobody under 10 games, so sorry I should have said that at the beginning. That's why Alex Belzeal is here. He played 11. No points, but he was even. So on the defensive side, I think, you know, he did okay. On the offensive side, well, what are you expecting from Alex Belzeal? But there was nothing much there, um, so I gave him a C. Caden Primo played 12 games. I think he started nine. He played in 12. One, one win, seven losses, and a um, overtime or shootout loss. Uh, four, six, two goals against, and an eight, six, eight save percentage. So really not good numbers. Um, he had like maybe two games where he played well. The rest, I mean, I probably should have been harsher on him, but he's young. He's young and he's not ready, and I'm not going to be – Giving him an F because of that. So I gave him a C. That's it for the C's. Now we get to the B's. The B's. Christian Dvorak. I know a lot of people are harsh on Christian Dvorak, but you look at those numbers, they're not bad. 56 games, 11 goals, 22 assists, 33 points. That's 50 points in 82 games. With five power play points, which would be probably seven or eight in 82 games. I gave him a B plus. And you know what? I think he deserved that. I think I think he, he came on after the injury where they hired Marty St. Louis, St. Louis and he was off. Once he started playing with uh, for Marty St. Louis, I think he was pretty consistently good. And he had some good games under Ducharme. I think overall, you look at his numbers, I think, um, and his playoff, playoff, his face-off numbers are 56% or something like that at the dot. Good. He gets a B plus. Josh Anderson. 69 games, I love the number. 19 goals, I wish he would have got 20. Uh, 13 assists, 32 points, 3 power play points. Why did I give Anderson a B, not a B plus, or even an A? 
his streakiness. That's the only reason, really. He needs to get less, be less streaky. That's all. Um, other than that, I think he would would have got an A. Uh, he could hit twenty or twenty plus goals. Um, yeah, I, I love jo Josh Anderson. I hope they don't trade him. They better not trade him. Chris Weidman, sixty four games, four goals, twenty three assists, twenty seven points, twelve power play points. Pretty solid, like a pretty decent power play quarterback. And you know what? Physical game for a smaller guy. That was pretty decent. At the beginning of the season, not impressed with Chris Weidman. But by the end of the season, I don't know if I say impressed, but I thought he did a decent job and I give him a B. Rem Pitlick, 46 games. I think that's the 46 with Montreal. He had, I don't know how many with Minnesota. Nine goals, 17 assists, 26 points. And that's a one power play point included. You know, when he first got here, boy, he was like on fire. And it slowed down to more of what he's going to be. Um, I think that's pretty decent. I think he gets a B. I might be being a little harsh on him. I was It was between a B and a B plus. I like Rem Pidlick. I think they resign him. And he's going to be around for a while. Ryan Paling, 57 games, 9 goals, 8 assists, 17 points, 2 power play points. A little disappointed in the points total. But I think that might be what Ryan Paling is. Not the hugest points getter. It's a good, solid third third line, either center or winger, that could play on the upper lines when needed. A game at B-. minus. I would have liked to see more from Ryan Paling, but I think at least he showed he was an NHL player. Laurent Dauphin, the Dolphin. 38 games, 4 goals, 8 assists, 12 points. Not bad for a depth guy that doesn't play often. I think Dauphin did okay. I don't know that he'll stick around. I think he's going to want to play in the NHL regularly. I don't know if Montreal has a spot for him as a center. Um, but I think he did okay. Um, I don't have a lot of complaint. You know, he's, he is who he is. Um, a game of B. Tyler Pitlick, 14 games, 1 goal, 2 assists, 3 points. Um, that he, we got him in a trade, right, in the Calgary trade. He did okay. I mean, he didn't wow me or anything like that, but I think he did okay. I'd give him a B minus. I'd like to see more out of him, but he's a third or fourth line guy. I don't know that he sticks around. He might, he might not. I don't think he's going to be expensive. They might sign him uh, as a cheap uh, option because they're they got cap issues. Corey Sheneman, 24 games, two goals, four assists, six points, um, one power play point. I like Shenaman. I thought Shenaman has promise. Um, is he going to be a number one defenseman? No. Um, but I think this kid could be a regular uh, seventh, sixth or seventh defenseman. I gave him a B. I thought he did pretty good. I, I was impressed with him. Um, yes, he alone in 14 games, two goals, three assists, five uh, points, a plus two. Um, you know, he didn't wow me or anything like that. But I think next year, Jesse, yes, he alone is an NHLer. Um, starting out in the bottom six, and maybe he plays his way out of that. I don't know. I gave him a B. Sam Montembeau, 38 games. I don't know how many he started, but 38 games. He went 8, 18, and 6 with a 377 goals against and an 891. Save percentage. Not great numbers. But you know what? This kid went from being horrible, abysmal in his first game, maybe first two, and then got better. And I really came to like Sam Montembeau. I wanted to give him an A. I don't know that he earned an A. He earned a B plus. Definitely, I hope they sign him. He's going to be an RFA and uh, bring him back. And I want to see more of Montembeau. We get to the big ones now. I know I haven't shown myself. Now we get to the A's. This is surprising. I didn't think there'd be as many. They're not a ton. Um, but I think they're all deserving of it. And here we go. Leading off with, of course, Nick Suzuki, 82 games, the only player to play 82 games on this team. He's, I think he's going to be an Iron Man. I think he's got it in him. Let's see. 21 goals, 40 assists, 61 points, 20 power play points. You know what? Considering how bad the first half of the season went, just if in any season for a guy at his age and his state, the stage of his career, I think that's an A caliber season. So, I only gave him an A, and I didn't know that he earned an A+. plus. A little inconsistency. I'd like to see him be more consistent. I'm sure he would like that, too. I think he will be going forward. And, uh, yeah, definitely deserves the A. Cole Caulfield, 
horrible first 30 games under Dom Ducharme. I think one goal, seven assists, eight points, something like that. 67 games, 23 goals, 20 assists, 43 points. You know what? Any rookie in 67 games that scores 23 goals is deserving of an A. And maybe an A-plus. Maybe I could have given him an A-plus. If that first 30 games weren't so horrible, definitely would have given him an A-plus. He had 13 power play points, and he is going to score goals for Montreal. And uh, he'll be getting A's, I think, uh, a lot going forward. Alex Romanov, 79 games, three goals, 10 assists, 13 points. Alex Romanov had a really good season. Um, he's only in his, what, second season there? Um, by the end of the season, getting, what, 24, 25 minutes a game average? Um, just put eating up the minutes, playing well, using the body. Um, I thought Alex Romanov had a really good season. He's a young guy. He's going to get better. He gets an A. Michael Pizzetta, 51 games, 5 goals, 6 assists, 11 points. You look at that and go, well, that's not great. He's a fourth liner. Um, you know what? He's exciting to watch. Not afraid to drop the gloves. Not afraid to get physical. And he can really pump his team up and the crowd with some of his play. And I really like Michael Pizzetta. I gave him an A- minus because I thought he entertained me all season. And when he played, and I hope he stays around. I hope they, I think he's an RFA, and I hope they resign him and he sticks around and plays. Jordan Harris in 10 games, so he hit the minimum uh, number of games. One goal only for one point. He was a plus three. I thought that was pretty impressive on a team that's horrible defensively. Um, great skater, not afraid to, to do stuff, not afraid to go out and make a play, even if he makes a mistake. And I like that. And I thought Jordan Harris in his 10 games earned an A minus. And I can't wait to see him going forward. Jake Allen. Jake Allen, 35 games, nine, nine wins, 20 uh, losses, and four overtime or shootout losses. A 3 3 0 goals against and a 9 0 5 save percentage. And you know what? Not great numbers. Jake Allen played his heart out. There were maybe two games where I could say that he wasn't good. Um, other than that, he was just, wasn't his fault for that, those numbers. I could say that Jake Allen, a plus and well-deserving. I totally respect him. Um, when Jeff passed away, he wrote to his daughter, to Jeff's daughter and, and was really, what a great thing. I totally respect this guy. And it's not the reason for the a plus his play on the ice, but he's a great guy. And I, I like Jake Allen, a plus. <sighs> School's out for the summer now, and uh, some of these guys won't be back next season, which we know. So check out my video, though, on uh, who I think won't be back next season. Um, it's either going to be right at the end here, or I'll leave a, 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 in the description a link for it. Um, and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. I appreciate that. And uh, leave a comment in the comment section. What are your grades? If and Tell me what you think of mine. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe out there. Peace out, y'all. And, uh, hey, the video that just popped up over there, like, I don't know how long ago, uh, check that one out. And that's it. Thanks. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.